Yeah, a lot of times on the SAT, you're given points and asked to kind of work backward and come up with a formula that works for those points. And when you do that, you generally, um, a little flag should go off in your head and say, oh, I need to make a table. So to make a table, you click on this plus, and then you click on table, and we'll say the points are one, and of course you can tab through them, or you can move your cursor, two, three, four, and then you see points one, two, and three, four show up. And then if you know that it's a quadratic, so you know that it's in the format that um, uh, y is uh, equal to uh, x, or sorry, a, x, one, squared, plus, B X one plus C and you see it's going to actually make a graph for you that goes through those two points and it tells you what A and B is so we know and C um, which happens to be zero so we know that um, that the, the quadratic that goes through the points 1 2 and 3 4 in the format y equals ax squared plus bx plus c is y equals negative one third x squared plus two and one third x and c is zero so no uh, uh, no number there and you can see that actually comes through uh, those two points now most importantly what did i do here well i did three things um, after we made the table the first is i made all the x's x1's the second is I made all of the y's y1s. And the third is I used a tilde instead of, uh, instead of a uh, equal sign. How do you make x1s? Well, if you type in x in, in um, Desmos and you just type one after it, it'll automatically put the subscript one. Same thing with y. If you say y1, it'll automatically do the subscript. Um, and the tilde is if you hit shift, it's over kind of to the left of one on most keyboards. So it's on the top, near the top left corner of the keyboard. Um, and that gives you essentially regression analysis. For right now, you can ignore the statistics. And what you want to find out is what the parameters equal. Now, if we wanted to uh, do some more with this, with this um, uh, table, uh, if we know that, um, why want, that the second column is always just one more than the first column, what we can do is we can say, OK, that's equal to x1 plus 1. And, um, and then we can say, OK, what is 5 equal? And I'll say 6. And it'll pre-populate 7 because it sees a pattern that we're going every 2. So I can just keep hitting Enter, and it'll tell me what the second column is. And then we can make a third column. Let's say the third column is double the first column. So the third column is going to be uh, two, 2 times x1. 1 plus 1 and then we have we have x's in the in the odd in the um, odd numbers we have x plus 1 in the second column and we have 2x plus 1 and again we have to use x1 because we're talking about specific x's uh, specific examples uh, that we can pull forward all right now you can use the tilde also um, sometimes you just <laughs> Sometimes you just want to see, uh, you don't want to look at the graph to see what the value is. You just want to see what the value is. And so we can do 2p minus 4, oops, 4, and then we can do tilde 10. And then we see that p is 7, which makes sense. 2 times p um, is uh, uh, 14 minus 4 is 10. So it gives us a solution without us having to... Uh, look for it on the graph, um, but importantly, you may be tempted to say 2x minus 4 tilde 10, and it doesn't really work with x. It, you have to use a or p or q or some, <laughs> some letter other than x because x is reserved for the graphing, and the tilde doesn't seem to work with the graphing because it's uh, asking for a little bit more of a regression analysis. Um, uh, so that's a little hack for you. All right.
Now, we can also use it, you remember before, we wanted to say, okay, uh, the mean of 2 and 3 and 6 and 6, we said was equal to the mean of 1, 1, and 3, and 4, and some number x. And so we do that when the next, um, we want to find out the next uh, number in the series that will make our average equal to something, in this case, the average of another series. And you'll remember last time, we, you know, it looked like it worked, but it didn't work. And it turns out it's just a little over. And then when I click on it, nothing really happens. And so I zoom in and I, I estimated that it was because it was, you know, around here that it was probably 12.25. And that's a pretty quick and reasonable and, and uh, uh, brute force way to do it. But sometimes you just don't want to deal with that. <laughs> um, so we'll do the same thing. But this time we're going to replace the equals with a tilde. And as we said before, you, you don't want to use X with the tildes. You want to use things like P. And it just tells us that P is equal to 12.25. So we just kind of have the answer right there. All right, for systems of equations, which is when you have, of course, two formulas and two unknowns, um, we might have something that goes something like, uh, oh, I don't know. Um, maybe it's a... a um, f of x is equal to uh, the absolute value of 21 minus x. Um, and then we also know that uh, f of a is equal to 2a. And so if we zoom out here, we see, see, it seemed like the first one didn't do anything, but if we zoom out here, we can see that that intersection is 7 comma 14. So A is uh, 7 um, and B is 14 uh, because F of A equals 2A and because uh, F, of, um, uh, F of 7 equals 21 uh, uh, minus 7. Which is, 14, which is the absolute value of 14, which is 14. All right, similarly, if we're looking at um, uh, another kind of version of systems of equations, is you'll sometimes be asked something like, you'll be given a line or an equation, so it'll say uh, negative x plus 5y uh, equals 8. Um, and then they'll give you... Um, maybe four other equations and they'll say which of these following other equations has no solutions which means that it's parallel to this line or which of the other which of the following other four equations has one solution which means it's you know it crosses a line once or which of the following four equations has infinitely many solutions which means that the two line it's just two versions of the same formula and so you can just use brute force and just start typing in. You can just, you know, hit enter and you can type in the next, uh, you know, y equals four uh, and see, okay, well, that has, uh, that has one, uh, uh, one other, so one solution and so forth. So you can just kind of keep typing them in until you find the one that has no solutions, meaning it's parallel or infinitely many solutions, meaning it's the same line or one solution, meaning it's, neither parallel nor the same line. Um, if we have a, uh, if we have kind of a, uh, um, a more standard kind of, here's two equations, solve it. Uh, let's say our two equations are uh, 2x plus y over 3 uh, equals 5. Oops. y equals over 3, then right, um, right, uh, right arrow equals equals five, and it gives us a line, and then we can type in a new equation, x minus nine equals y plus two, um, and then we can uh, kind of move around or zoom out in as we need to, and we can find the 
uh, point where those two lines cross at 3.714 comma negative 7.286. So that's one way to do it. Um, for those, of, and I think that's perfectly fine. <laughs> but for those of you guys who really want to geek out, uh, what we can do is we can say, okay, um, we're going to set something up in the in. I'm just going to do p comma q bracket p comma q tilde bracket p comma q bracket and now I'm going to fill in what the p's and q's are so we know that 2x plus y over 3 equals 5 so what we can do is we can say let's just change these to from x to y uh, we'll change it to from x y we'll change it to a b because again tilde doesn't work with x's and y's and so I can say that um, 2x plus 3y means 2, uh, uh, I'm sorry, uh, 2x plus y over 3 is equal to uh, 2a um, plus b over 3. And then we know that's equal to 5. So I'm going to go all the way over to the next bracket and say that's equal to 5. And then for our second equation, x minus 9, that's a minus 9 in our new format, where we're avoiding x, is equal to y minus 2. So that's b, or b plus 2. So that's b plus 2. And then you see it solved it for us. It gave us uh, a, is, which is our x, is equal to 3.7. Uh, B is equal to negative 7.28. It's the same numbers we had here. Um, it's just giving it more in a calculator format. And all we did is if we have two systems of equations, we said we put them in brackets, we put a tilde between them, and we said this one, and we put a comma between the terms, and we said this one equals this, and this one equals that, um, uh, for those of you guys who really, really want to get advanced.